Look, man, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I'm tired, y'all. Been running all day. But I still got to give y'all the video, man. And I knew... All y'all, I know all y'all want to see this video. Y'all been blowing me up all day long about this video, man. I just wanted to drop everything I was doing because I was driving. You know, I'm always in, I'm always in traffic, y'all, if y'all don't know. I wanted, I wanted to literally just pull over on the side of the road and do the video. But I was like, nah, I'm going to wait. But with that being said, man, listen closely to what I'm about to say. Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell and you turn on post notifications so you are notified every time we drop and we drop daily if we don't drop daily it's because we need a break everybody need a break but with that being said listen to these words before we react since they want us to believe their content is real we are going to react to their content like it's real uh -huh. guys i'm gonna great traffic up this chick real quick i need y'all to do me a favor go follow me on instagram right now damien prior senior all lower cases I'm going to clean this whole entire city of Texas up from these gold diggers. They must be stopped. <laughs> hey, beautiful, how you doing? Are you talking to me? What's your name? You got MySpace or anything? MySpace? You know what I'm saying? Like social media? Bye. You got a man? Yeah. You married? Yeah. All right, sorry to bother you. Have a nice day. Go All right, so... <laughs> There's a couple different ways I can actually react to this video. Now, I can react to the video from a pimp perspective because, as you can see, um, he's—I guess he's, he's dressed like a pimp. Or we're just gonna react to the video, however he, however the flow of the video goes. Because if he was a pimp, he would have approached her differently. So just because he got the pimp outfit and all that, that necessarily does not mean that he knows what he's talking about or doing clearly. So we're gonna see we're gonna see how this video transpires, and then we're gonna continue to react from that way. You know, what I'm saying because there's like two different ways I can react to this video. I guess she got to do clear as day. Get up out of here. I'm good, man. I'm big, man. Oh. What is the pimp to do? Oh, shit. What can I go eat at? Oh. Yo, what's up? I'm sorry. I'm having a really bad day. I didn't mean to come at you like that. Come around here for a second. Come inside? No, come around inside the car. The hell? Man, she had a bad day. I mean, you kind of start on me for a second there. You I'm say sorry. that you're having a bad day. Yeah, like, a bad day. Oh, yeah. What's your name? Uh, my name is Dane. Amira, nice to meet Amira, you. Amira, nice to meet you, Amira. Yeah. I mean, what was you headed to? Being all rude and stuff. I'm going to the store, but I'm just having a really bad day. I mean, I mean, but why? Tell me, why? what's going on? What's going on? Just a lot on my chest. Boyfriend for problems? No. Like, most times it's like boyfriend problems. I don't have a boyfriend. You have a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. How'd that happen? I don't know. That's that's crazy. So, I mean, like... I'm looking for one. You looking for one? Mm hmm I mean, well, I, I tell you what, since she was so rude, can I get a little spin? A spin? Yeah, just a little spin. Okay, cool, cool. You ever been inside of a Rolls Royce before? Yes. Oh, you been inside one before? Yeah. Oh, so I can't introduce you to nothing new. So, you could. I mean... Yours uh, could be better. Oh, mine is better. It is? Yes, let me open What door. year is it? It's the 23, brand new. Okay. And it's the black. Ooh. Top of the line, It's yours? Is it mine? Absolutely, it's mine. Okay. I mean, I'm not just walking to it. I mean, it's mine. But anyway, it's you want to hop in for a second? Because it's kind of scorching out here. Yeah, it is really hot. All right, let me get that door for you real quick. Okay, so let's be 100, man. So one of the first things that anybody's going to say, they're going to see, they are going to see the outfit. Now, once they see the outfit, they're going to be like, okay, man, what do you do? Are you a pimp? Are you something? They're going to say something about the outfit. So, Shorty didn't acknowledge the outfit. She didn't say one thing about, hey, your outfit's this, that, whatever. Do you have girls? What do you do? Because that's one of the first things that a person's going to say. So, clearly, something's up with that whenever a person didn't even question that. Because me, personally, if I was a woman and I was walking down the street and some dude, some older dude and all purple and whatever was trying to holler at me, then of course I would be like, well, what's up, man? Um, 
What's up with your outfit? Your out, you know, you got the pimp outfit, you got the cane, you got the hat. Well, do you pimp people? Do you do this? I'm going to ask those questions before I even initially try to get in the vehicle or do anything of that sort. Like I said, that's why I told you at the beginning of the video. Play, pay very close attention. These, pay very close attention. You see me swatting these motherfucking flies, whatever you want to call it. Pay, pay very close attention to what we say. That's why I say since they want us to believe their content is real, we're going to react to their content like it's real. So, didn't ask what he did, didn't, none of that. She, all she went up complaining about, well, my boyfriend, I need a man, he this, that, that. So, that's that's the thing that stood out. That's the first red flag that stood out with me, you know what I'm saying? And secondly, like, being, if you, being, if you want to be a pimp, bro, you're going to lay the, you're going to lay the groundwork down before anything, you know what I'm saying? You're going to tell them, because basically, the terminology would be step into my office, not step into my car, right? So for people who know what that means, it's meaning, okay, well, I'm, I'm out here recruiting. I'm out here trying to see this, see that, whatever, whatever, see who's trying to, you know, make some money, see who's trying to, if you need a job, well, you can step into my office. So clearly, he just has the pimp clothes on. Clearly, he's not playing the entire pimp role, as you can see, you know what I'm saying? Because once again, if he was playing it, if he was... Uh, playing the entire pimp role and all that stuff, then he would be like stepping to my office. Um, he would be, he'd be talking about his applications. He'd be talking about his process to try job hiring, which is basically putting you on a strip ba or even put you in a strip club somewhere to where he can make money off of you to where you can bring the money back to him. He's not doing any of that. He just is, just got the fucking outfit on looking like a damn clown, basically. You know what I'm saying? So, and for my real pimps, you, my real pimps that, well, there's not a lot. There's really not a lot of pimps really nowadays. But for the people who was real pimping, who actually know, you know, for people who don't know, just, 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 just follow me. You know what I'm saying? You may learn some of this video. I try to give out a little game to people who don't know every video. You know what I'm saying? You may get a lot of game this video. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, man, let me know what you think about this in the comment section. And we're going to continue watching to see if he actually tries to pick up being a pimp pimp or if he just out here with a fucking big ass clown suit on this purple with a big with a hat on and stuff like that and a cane what year was you in before like you said that you've been inside a rose before i mean what year was it like a 21 this is way nicer oh, yeah you know we got them stars in the ceiling and everything mm -hmm. you like that yeah. you look real good up in there too mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She having a bad day. Right. I bet you are. They finna get work soon. You good and comfortable over there? Mm hmm It feels real good in here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It's my baby right here. So you say that you was headed where again? To the store. You wanna give me a ride? I mean, I definitely would like for you to ride me. I mean, I would definitely like for you to ride. <laughs> my bad. You're so funny. Yeah, I am. I'm very, very funny. Mm -hmm. So so you said, so uh, how old are you, though? 23. 23. How old are you? 53. I'm only okay. 30 years old. That's not dude. old. Nah, and don't believe all the stuff you hear about older dudes. Oh, it's I already true. know. Older dudes got this and got that. I don't like guys my age. For real? Mm -hmm. I like women like you. <laughs> so tell me why you don't like guys your age. Because like, they're too immature. I need a real man to take care of me. Young dudes be stalking where you at, what you doing. Yeah. FaceTime, scan the room, let me see where you at. I don't like that. Wow. So you say that you're looking for a dude, huh? Mm -hmm. Like an older dude? Yeah, I'm looking for a real man. Mm, okay, so let me ask you this. Uh, like, tell me what do you mean by a real man? I need someone to take care of me. Can you do that? I mean, I can do a lot of things, but you got to be more specific. What's your name again? Amira. Amira, that is a beautiful name. Thank you. Amira, do you remember my name? No, I forgot. It's Damien. I'm sure I'll remember it. I mean, but you can call me Daddy Damien. I mean, it's not <laughs> obvious. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so clearly you can see, clearly you can see that he's trying. Clearly, you can see that he's trying to mix a little bit of pimpish, a little bit in there. He's trying but he's not really being successful. And the reason why I say he's not being successful is because it's like you asking her what she want. Well, I mean, they do that, what you want, this, that. You want this man, you want that. And he's not really telling her stuff as far as, okay, well, I can, I can make this happen. I can make that happen. I could do this. I could do that. He's not really doing a whole bunch of that. So, you know, and it's like, 
it's it's re- it's it's basically almost like a regular conversation. Like he's you know a young chick hollering at a young chick basically hollering at um, an older dude, and you know so it's kind of he trying man, <laughs> but and, and she just seemed she seemed like she just gullible. She seemed like she's just willing to go for anything. She seemed like she's just okay. Whatever this person says goes. And I get, I'm really getting those vibes from her. Whatever this man says goes. If he wants this to happen or that to happen, then okay, I'm be down to do this. I'm gonna be down to do that. But he, I, he's not capitalizing off of it. He's more so trying to. What do you want? What are you looking for? What do you like? No, that's not what pimps ask you that. But that's really not what's up. They 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 lay they they, they tell you what's up, man. That she, come here, shorty. So what you into? Okay, well, sure, you want to make some money. Okay, well, this is the way to make the money. You know what I'm saying? You down with this? I mean, you got any anything you feel like going to hold you back from interfering? You know what I'm saying? Anything you feel like is going to hold you back from making this money if I put you out here? You know, if I, if I trust him, you ain't going to, you know? So it's almost like he's, it's almost like you got all the money and you hollering to somebody who ain't got nothing and don't know nothing, but you're letting them drive the car. You see what I'm saying? For people in relationships, know what I mean? The, 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 the phrase and the saying that a lot of people like to say is we see who wears the pants, but you know, we call it the whip. You know what I'm saying? We see who's driving the whip. I'm not finna give you the keys to drive the car. If you don't know where we going, especially when I got all the direction you have none. If that makes sense to a lot of you guys, man. But anyways, man, let's, let's continue watching to see where this go. Um, <laughs> like that, Betty Damien. Mm-hmm. So, so be more specific about a real man. Like, would you like to go to Jack in the Box and stuff, or no. McDonald's to get ice cream? No, I don't eat fast food. You don't. You don't look like you. You definitely built like you eat very, very. Yeah, healthy. I eat good. I go to the gym every day. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. So, what type of restaurants you like to eat at? Mm, Ruth Chris. Ruth Chris. Yeah. I like steak. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. Everybody likes steak. Like, you <laughs> eat yours like medium well. Well done. Mm, you don't want to eat it well done. Well, I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. Pink. Yeah, because well <laughs> done makes it kind of chewy. Yeah. If it's just a little pink. That's what it's... everyone says, but I can't get over the red. Mm, I love that pink. That pink be tasting good up in there. I swear. <laughs> Fire. Mm. Try that pink for real. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, so you looking for a man to take care of you or something? Mm. I mean, so what type of things do you like to do? Like I like to go shopping. You like to go shopping, mm-hmm. so like you eat like a what, like an allowance or something every month, or you would type. That would be month. great. Is that what you're looking for? I mean, if you're willing to this, like, of course, if you're willing to like hang out with me for like three or four months without me having to spend any money, we can just watch Netflix and eat green tomatoes and stuff, fried green like tomatoes. Three months. Yeah, I mean, we can go out to eat, but like little small restaurants, and then we'll like build our way up. That right there, it lets me know that he's not. He's that lets me know that he's not on no pimping stuff, yo. All right, and let's me know that he's got the outfit on, just to have the outfit on, just to be looking like a damn big purple clown. Because when she said, okay, well, you mean like allowance and all that stuff? And he was like, yeah, but I mean, we can we can build up to going out to bigger places. You know, like, bro, like he's trying to, you, you, you in here with a, you got a pimp suit on, bro, but you out here trying to find a relationship with, with people. Like, you know, instead of actually being the pimp thing because she said like an allowance and he was like yeah so she so basically she was gonna be down with whatever he was talking about but once again like i said how they do in all their videos man they always change the narrative they always push the narrative and change change the narrative to push this other narrative that doesn't even make any sense stuff like that so that's that's just completely just Oh no, he lost me with that one, man. Because I thought when she said the allowance part, he was gonna be like, "Yeah, well, I can give you allowance as long as you down to do this and do that." Because she even asked him, "Man, is that what you, is that what you want? Is that what you want? You know, basically, is that what you want to do? Is that what you want to see?" She even asked him all that. But you know, it, it is what it is, man. So, <laughs> like I said, things is things is crazy out here, man. It's like you trying to do, you literally trying to, you are literally trying to act like you pimping something but you don't want to go ahead and fulfill it be the you don't want to go ahead and just be the pimp bro like these niggas they they always throw me for a loop in their videos bro especially whenever you sit here and just watch it and just it's like shorty was down though shorty was down for whatever he wanted her to be down for as long as he pay her like it's what i be saying about a lot of them videos when you got the best why i say this a lot of times y'all 
when you got the bag, they're going to do damn near anything that you damn near want them to do when you have the bag. Now, because most of the time they're like, okay, well, ain't nothing but bums out here anyway. I ain't saying that niggas ain't who ain't got. I'm not saying that if you don't have a bunch of money, you're a bum. I'm not, I'm not saying that. But 90% of the world is just average motherfuckers. You see what I'm saying? Everybody ain't. Everybody ain't busting with busting at the seams with bands flying out of their pocket. Everybody's not doing that. So, but um, let's continue watching. You know, but I wouldn't be getting paid for three months. But how much do you need to get paid? I don't know something to make sure that you're worth my time. So, like, but you seem like you're worth my time. I mean, I am worth your time. I mean, look where you sit. <laughs> I mean, I'm one of the first ones with this right here. It's crazy you stopped me. Like, what a coincidence. It's like we're meant to be. Yeah, it is. It is. I like the color of your hair, too. Thank you. What's that like? Gold and black? Something like that, brown. That Highlights. Cool. That rocking. So, have you ever been with an older dude before? Yeah. I mean, like, what, like, like, how was it? Like, did you like it? It was good. Did you spend all this money on you and stuff? Like, yeah. you know, he did? Mm hmm. All of it? Mm hmm. Wow. So, what, he went broke? I don't think he went broke. He had enough. You seem like a sweetheart. And I i mean, I like your vibe. Your voice is like so soft and stuff. And your eyes, the way you got the glasses. <laughs> I just be like thinking like, well, first of all, are you from Houston? No, I'm not from Houston. You're not? No. Oh, wow. Because I thought I was going to say you just like the rest of the gold diggers that I'm out here. <laughs> but you like, Never. Got, you're like a classy gold digger, though. You're not like the worst what? gold digger I've ever seen. You're not like the worst gold digger I've ever seen. You got like a little class about your gold diggersness. Once again, she's not a gold digger. Once again, homeboy was an old nigga on the side of the street, basically posted up in a whole pimp outf outfit with a cane. Um, I'm going to tell y'all something about that. I'm, I'm going to put a lot of y'all cats up on game that don't know that. So, have you ever heard of, okay, well, that dude, that woman, or whatever, or that man, that female, they stuck in the 70s, they stuck in the 80s, they stuck in the 90s, or they stuck in the 60s, right? I'm pretty sure y'all have seen somebody who's, like, I'm pretty sure y'all have seen somebody, say you was born in, like, in the 90s, right? And people's in the, people in the 70s, I think early, early 80s and stuff, they all had the big, you know, they had the bell bottoms, the tight jeans on, they had the, the big puffy hair and all that stuff. Then you see people nowadays, you know, they look like, they're from the 80s you know what i'm saying like they may dress like they're from the 80s or something like that so so basically what i'm trying to say is either a lot of old dudes and, and you can run into a lot of older cats too it is and i've never ran into i mean when i never ran into anybody outside of our race right a lot of older dudes they may dress how he dressed they may be all um well if you watching this and, and you black like me african-american as they call it here um you got an uncle, right? Or or you know, or, or your friend got an uncle. The nigga, every time he come around, he always dressed up in like a suit or he's always dressed up in something like that, right? Um, and then you look at him like, where are you about to go? But that's how he dressed. Like I said, he still may be stuck in the 70s or the, he may still may be stuck in the 80s as far as dressing wise, you know? Um, and you, sometimes you'll see, you'll see older cats like him. Sometimes you'll see older cats like him uh, just on the street or coming out of stove still dressed like that like they like they used to dress back in the 80s or back in the 90s you know what i'm saying so um it's just funny because shorty's not no gold digger shorty asked for basic stuff basically shorty was like yeah i want to go out to eat and um, i need i need a, a man or i need a real man somebody who can look out and take care of me and stuff like that so there's nothing gold diggerish about being normal that's normal of course, every there's, like I said before, there's nothing wrong with, there's nothing wrong with wanting to go to a mall, wanting to go buy new stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. Only only people that think there's something wrong with that is people like him, you know. So, sure. <laughs> but uh, if you if you got an uncle or you know somebody who dresses like this and they stuck in a certain particular year, man, leave a comment in the comment section. I know plenty of cats that, you know, they they stuck in. They stuck in the early 1990s, you know what I'm saying, to where they made they, they still wearing the same gear from the 90s that they wearing now. Of course, if, I know it's, it's recently purchased gear, but it's gear that was that is not 2000 approved, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? It's more for the 1970s or 1980s and stuff like that. Leave a comment in the comment section, maybe you know somebody like this. <laughs> you, know, you know, how long you been a gold digger? Like, 
I'm not a gold digger. No, you're a gold digger. How? Well, Tamika. I just like nice things. What's who? Tamika, right? April. <laughs> April. Uh, Michelle. What's your name again? I remembered your name. You don't remember my name. Uh, well, I guess when you start giving me those gold digger vibes, it kind of made me feel. Where like, did you get gold digger from? Well, first, like your hair, like the gold color of your hair, like the context is really nice. Mm, that's you corny. Know, you want me to spend my money on you? Like, you can tell me what you want. But it's for. 2023. Like, you think you're just dating women for free? I just said I want to date for free. I said we go out after a couple months, watch some Netflix and for some free, fried greens, tomatoes. Or I, I'll give you like $100 a month or something. <laughs> What, to get your nails done or something, right? <laughs> a month? Hair don't even cost that much. You get your hair done really cheap. Now. They even got wigs for like $20. See, that's another thing. See, that's another thing. It's like you want to front a big Rolls Royce. You want to front like your, your clothes. You want to, you know, you want to play this big boss role and this, that, that. But you want to be like, hey, well, I can give you $100 a month. You want to see, you want to, they want to look for a girl that wants them for them all in the same video. But you want to be super cheap about getting the girl. Like it just, there's just so many conflicting elements, bro, in, in the video that just don't make sense. You, you you sitting up there, you you want somebody to want you for you, but yet it's like when somebody you want somebody to want you for you, but it's like yet yeah, when they want you for you, it's you do things so they don't you do things and say things so they don't like you like i said you want to you want to front with the big boy rose royce but you want to act cheap and it's just you know there's so many conflicting things that don't even equal up that will really have a person looking at a person scratching their head like bro like what is this dude on is, is this really your car is this do you really have the money that you say you got or because or, because you got the big rose royce but you acting like you got um 1988 um honda civic money you see what i'm saying like so and i'm not trying to make it all about money and do all of that crazy stuff but it's just there's just so many conflicting elements man that, that, that will make up any normal person like just kind of look like you know and i know there's airheads and bubble heads but nobody's that stupid to believe okay well maybe he wants to take it slow maybe he wants to be cheap maybe he wants to nobody's really that stupid you know what I'm saying? because let's be 100 man Let's be 100 with each other, man. If you got the bag, bro, and you know you can blow the bag and ain't going to hurt you, bro, you're going to blow the bag. I don't give a fuck what nobody say, man. People can say whatever they want to say. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Oh, that's that's the girls you used to mess with. I mean, so, like... I'm going to have to show you. It's okay. You don't know. I'll show you. But what if I don't want you to show me because you're gold digger this? Who are you calling a gold digger? I'm calling you a gold digger, No, bro. you're not. Uh, yes, I am. I just called you a gold digger again. I'm not a gold, gold digger. I gold. like money. That's all. You're a gold digger, though. You're, you're definitely a gold digger. And I'm a gold digger. I don't really want to a gold digger. You feel I don't me? need to f*** with you. You feel me, cuz? <laughs> so, just, This is probably a rental anyways. I don't need this sh you don't got no money. You don't want even want to pay to date somebody for months. Can I get you don't your, got no money. Can I get your MySpace? That's some broke. Uh, MySpace. Right. Well, you Facebook. old as You got Facebook Bye. or YouTube? Bye. Or anything I can You my daddy's you. age. I'm sorry. But I was your daddy age when you got my I car, though. Have a nice day. But you got my car, though, sweetie. This, this bum rental. Bum rental, huh? Let's see. I only told her what she was, man. She's a nice looking gold digger. Got the nice little body and stuff. The lashes, the hair. It's still gold diggers, man. The only thing that shocked me about this gold digger was she wasn't from Houston, man. Most of them are from Houston, man. But she's still a gold digger. Man. All right, so we see he wasn't going to play the pimp thing. Shorty's not a gold digger, bro. Shorty just was... Clearly, Shorty was down for whatever he wanted to be down for. She even said something about allowance. She even said something about all of that. But no, nah, homeboy got to take it to the next level and say, well, we can build up to that. I can give you $100 a month. Like, anybody know if you dating somebody, you're going to spend more than $100 a month. It is what it is. Unless y'all are, unless y'all sole purpose is to actually sit there and save and stack money, you're going to spend, you're going to spend, you know what I'm saying, $100 a month, bro. You'll spend that alone on just gas and going to the store to get some water or just regular 
regular stuff, soap, toilet paper, you know what I'm saying? You're going to spend $100 a month on all that stuff anyway. So that's what I'm saying. Like, their their videos are real conflicting back and forth and stuff. So, But anyways, man, let me know what you think about this video. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to share the video. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel, man. And we out until the next one.